today's video, we are checking on the chicken's water to make sure it didn't freeze over. It's so cold. So it is a chilly 23 degrees here in Georgia this morning. And uh, it's officially, I checked the weather in Iceland. It's actually colder in Georgia than it is in Iceland. Uh, does, and did anybody else see the picture of the little frogs? I mean, why is that frog in Iceland sunbathing? Okay, so I'm out here at coop number one. I'm gonna open up the door. So as you can see, the water is not frozen. As a matter of fact, oh, look at that. Swedish flower hen Bluma, she's drinking some water. And we've got these guys over here. All right, so coop number one is good. I mean, poor Red looks so pitiful. She chose the wrong time to go through her hard molt. All right, so I'm heading into coop number two here. And let's see. All right, so you can see I've got a different style of water in this one, heated water, it's plugged in. Uh, there's my lavender Orpington, some golden comets. So these guys are all set. All right, so I'm out here at coop number three and gonna open this up and check on these guys. All right, there's big boy. Make sure he's not gonna give me any trouble. All right, so there is this water and all right, not frozen water. So I'm headed down to coop four and I wanna make sure I point out that if you notice one thing that I don't have with my chickens is heat lamps. I mean, it's freezing, it's cold. I'm in pajamas <laughs> and uh, it's cold to humans, but chickens, they have an average internal temperature of 105 degrees. Plus they have that down uh, jacket of all those beautiful feathers. So please don't use a heat lamp in the winter time. Uh, lots of people, I see it every year. People uh, will lose their coops to a fire because a chicken has knocked over a heat lamp or that bulb has fallen out. I have my own experience with almost burning down my house with a heat lamp. Uh, so please, please, please don't use a heat lamp over the winter time. All right, here at coop number four. And it looks like this water, even though it was plugged in and there's power going to it, it has frozen over. So you can kind of see frozen water there. So I'm gonna have to get these guys some fresh water here. All right. Okay, so I'm headed down to coop number five. Gonna check on their water. All right, so we'll go ahead and let these guys out. Good morning, chickens. There we go. There. Moving kind of slow because I don't want the rooster to attack my leg. All right, look at that. So, got some fresh water in here for, now the waters don't actually keep the water warm. That uh, thermostat in there just keeps the water from freezing. And as you can notice, I've got an older water over here too, just like the one in Coop 4, it froze over. So I'm gonna have to mark that one and not use that one uh, for this coming up year. So I'm out here at the special needs coop and these chickens haven't even come down yet. They're actually still kind of in the top. <laughs> oh, we got one down. Uh, but this, this water has got actually side nipples on the side that it's plugged in, keeps the water from freezing over. I'll show you. All right, so you can see the water, it's plugged in there, it's got the side. The bulls in that water is not frozen over. They, they will all have fresh water this morning. All right, so I'm gonna check on the last chicken, uh, my sick chicken in the shed. So make sure she's got water. She's in this little four by four right here. And there she is, and her water is in there and it is not frozen. All right, so I'm gonna take this water over to the chickens in coop number four. I'm heading back down to coop number four with my fresh water. So what do you do with your chickens whenever it gets really cold? What do you do with their waters? Do you have heated waters like I do? How do you handle that? I would love to know. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you want more information on how to uh, raise happy, healthy chickens, love if you would subscribe. And I am off to my next video. I will see you there.